Hey everyone, it's me again, Aquastar. It has been a while since I've done a real good update video for you guys. Um, I've been kind of busy a little bit, and I've also been kind of depressed. Um, I was really trying hard. I just got back my income tax, and I was really trying hard to find a bigger tank for my fish. Um, I really want like a 120 to a 150. And, um, and then, like, that's going to be it. And I was going to sell, like, either the 75 or the 55 to make some money back, um, but keep the other one up. Like, if I had sold the 75, I was going to put the 125-gallon tank here up against this wall and then um, also keep up the 55-gallon. But I have been having the worst luck trying to find an aquarium um, at a good price because... Again, I only make like $10 an hour. I work at a handicap society. They do not pay as much. I really like the job. Some of the staff's kind of snotty, uh, but that's a story for another time. But I really like the job in general, but we just don't get paid enough. Um, and then because I'm single and I don't have no kids, whenever I get income tax back, it's like $1,000 and that's it. Sounds like a lot of money, but it's not. Not when you need so many things. I also need a car. So another car. But anyway, um, yeah, so I've been really trying to find an aquarium, and every time I would, um, like, I couldn't get anybody to take me to go get it because I don't have a truck, and if it's a 125-gallon tank, it's usually six foot long, plus the stand, I need a truck. I ask family, I ask my brother, I ask my nephew, we were raised like brother and sister, um, friends, I it just, like... I live around some of the most, like, unfriendly people um, because, like, really in my heart, if I had a truck and one of my old friends or one of my family members contacted me and was like, oh, my God, you know, I, if they were into a hobby or something, if they were into rabbits and they needed a bigger rabbit hutch and I had a truck and they didn't, like, and I was even offering people gas money, like $50 in gas money, which it wouldn't even take $20 worth of gas to get to some of these places. And nobody would help me. Like, no, and I, like, this is about, like, three weeks ago. I was crying so bad. My feelings were so hurt so bad. Um, I literally can't get anybody to help me with this. So, um, and then I am really needing another car. I don't have no credit established, so therefore I've got to put down like a lot of money um, as a down payment. I even have to have my boyfriend probably help me. So I don't know. I've just been really, really like kind of down and out about all of it. Plus, I have been trying to make videos for you guys, but when I do, there's something going on with my phone. Like a few minutes into making the video, it starts kind of like choppy. It starts getting choppy. Um, so I'm really hoping it doesn't do it this time. Um, but yeah, that's what's been going on with me. I'm just kind of sad. I feel like I work pretty hard. Um, I don't know. I guess my belief system is very liberal in the sense that I believe that if you work, you know, and you work hard, you're not just like working one day a week. But if you're working even part time, but you're working hard, I believe that you're entitled to a roof over your head and you're entitled to a vehicle. And I think you're entitled to a little bit of extra spending cash too with whatever you want to do with that. Um, in, in my mind, like there's a brighter future out there for the world and it just matters like who gets into office, who takes control of these governments. Because it's like, I just think that if you work and consistently, and you're a law-abiding citizen, I think you should have a roof over your head, a good car to drive. I'm not talking about a freaking Mercedes, but a good car to drive, and then a little bit of extra spending cash if you like. You know, I just think that that's the way it should be, but clearly it's not, and I'm just wasting my breath even saying it, but um, the fish are doing okay. They're actually doing really good. Uh, a couple of them are having growth spurts again. Um, my fish get small little growth spurts, but they are growing. Um, Charlotte is actually getting pretty big. Right there she is with the little white face. She's getting, like, really big. She looks small next to that big um, castle and looks small next to Loki because Loki is flipping huge. Loki is edging on 10 inches now. Um, 
why exactly Loki grew so well and the other ones are taking a little bit more time, I don't know. Um, he just must be a really healthy, genetically blessed fish. Um, but it's great. It's awesome seeing him grow because when I first got him, he was this little two inch black and gold fish. He was mostly black. Um, his tail wasn't quite as long. And so it's been awesome to see him grow. Um, in fact, I think he's like, let's see, this spring he turned two years old. Him and Flutter Butter is up there like two years old. They're still kind of asleep. I just turned on their light, so they're still kind of like chilling. Um, yeah, so everybody's doing okay. There's um, Kumba. Kumba is definitely having a growth spurt. He's getting bigger. And his colors are changing a little bit. He's losing a little bit of his black, but I really doubt if he'll lose all of it. Because he is a, he's a calico, so I doubt if he'll lose all of it. But even if he did, that's okay. Um, I did get an LED light for this aquarium uh, that we're looking at right now. I've just been lazy and haven't put it in there yet. Uh, I am going to probably take out the black sand. I'm getting kind of tired of it. I miss my bare bottom. But any of my subscribers, my followers, know that my tank was never 100% bare bottom. I usually had some of those colorful glim or uh, <laughs> those uh, glass gems. I had some of those glass gems like all over the floor of my aquarium. So it was never 100% bare bottom. But I kind of miss it. I'm kind of getting tired of the sand. So one of these days over the next few weeks, I'm going to get up the courage and... Uh, drain most of the water out and move these guys over here just for an hour or so and just take a scooper and scoop all that sand out um, because another thing too is I really do want an LED light in this aquarium they're just they're so pretty it really makes everything just I don't know like magical it's just beautiful and the suction cups don't do well the suction cups on the LED light don't do well with sand um, even if the smallest particle of sand gets underneath one of the suction cups, it like makes it to where it just doesn't suck down on the glass and hold the light down. So yeah, that's another reason why I want to get the sand out. Um, but yeah, there's, uh, my new castle in its place and oh my God, see this pink flower and there's one. And over there's one, and I even have a couple over here. I need to clean their glass over there. There's some algae on it, but that's okay. It doesn't hurt them. It just looks bad. But um, these little pink flowers I ordered from China, from the seller in China. Now, it took a few weeks for the package to come in, but oh my God, like they advertised for just one of these flowers, and I ended up getting five of them. So that was a really good deal because it was actually really cheap. It was only like $10 or $11 free shipping. And I thought, I mean, I really was going to pay like $10 or $11 for one of these because I just thought that they were so pretty. Because um, I like pink. I am kind of girly in that way. I like pinks and purples and, you know, so I was going to pay like $10 or $11. I also thought maybe it was an inch or two taller. But when I opened up the package, I was like so happy. I opened it and there was like five of these gorgeous little pink flowers in there so I was like wow that's that's awesome so yeah I was really happy about that um my plants are doing okay um I keep having leaves die on the various plants I, I think that I need to be add, adding some kind of nutrients to the water and I don't know exactly what I really need to do my research on it I do my research on goldfish, like I put my heart into the goldfish, but the plants I really don't. And that's unfortunate because these plants have, have really done good, but a couple of them are kind of, the leaves are kind of dying off on them. Um, also, let me show you guys this. They're still, the fish are still asleep. <laughs> Sorry about that, they're kind of just... <laughs> Sleep. But do you see that little pokey thing that Crumpets is pecking at? That, I don't know what that is. It just came out of one of my big Anubias. I think it's like, I don't know, like the plant's penis or something. Like, I think that the plants are trying to breed, um, which is awesome. But, yeah, Crumpets is eating that. There's like these little things on it, and I think Crumpets is. 
Crumpet's definitely eating and, <laughs> and she's like half asleep. Yeah, so yeah, everybody's everybody's okay. Everybody's just still kind of well not everybody, a couple of them still just asleep. Um yeah, so I think that I'm going to go on and feed these guys, and I'm really sorry for not uploading a video for a long time. I'll try to do it again soon, um, like at least like once a week or something. Um, again, the problem was is I was having some trouble with um, um, the videos were kind of getting real choppy, and, and I also apologize for uploading um, a couple videos of my niece's wedding. The only reason why I did that is I couldn't get it to upload on Facebook for some reason. And my sister and my niece really wanted those videos, and I, I, I don't know, I'm not always so tech savvy. I didn't know how to get it to them. The quickest way I knew off the top of my head was upload it to my YouTube, give them the link, have them download it, <laughs> you know. So I'll try not to, to upload any more videos that don't have to do with Goldfish, because I noticed I, lo I lost a few subscribers because of that. Which was kind of like, well, shit, I'd understand if I did that all the time, but I just did it, a co like, two videos... Um, but, yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys. I'll try not to do that, because I'm sure you guys just want to see the goldfish. But, alright, guys, it's 11 minutes. Thank you for watching. I hope everybody's doing great. I hope everybody had a great Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day from us, from Locomotion, from all the little fish. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.